feet are tall, about three feet. We see these red ones up here. Those are brand spanking new, about six, five, six months beginning of the season. The season starts around March or April. But that red ones are new. By next season, they're going to look sort of wet. They look like that on the left. It's like those right there were from last year. So at the end of this season, they will do another road trying to get the dune to get higher. Does that make sense? Because that's what that's how you build up dunes. That house there is called the Chesapeake. It just sold for like 7.5 million. That was the house straight ahead at 12 o'clock, the Laughing Gull sold for less than 600,000. But there's a catch. High tide goes under it. Meaning that it ain't gonna be there much longer. You got a choice. You either ride it out and just well, you got you had to buy it equity first of all. Nobody wanna insure it, so you had to buy it with equity cash. Does that make sense? Because you, yeah. you can't borrow money if you can't insure it. Banks ain't that sweet. But you can use equity money or investment money. Angel investment money, but y'all that right there was bought for cash just under 600. You know in North Carolina it's all public record, whatever you, whoever's bought it and what you spent is public record. Alright, look, they're going, so what are they doing up there? So one of them's going to check. I'm watching them because we're in horse territory. If you're wondering, ding, 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 but I ain't seen tracks yet. I'm looking for their doo doo! I'm looking for fresh tracks. I'm looking for a oh, white bird it. called the cattle eager. When I see a white bird take off a limb, I cut across the dune and y'all better hold on. But I'm tracking right now because we're looking for horses. But I have my my tricks of the trade. That's hardcore running barefoot. She just stopped after she got past us. She was like, okay. Yeah, but that house high tide goes under. The only way I want to stay there is with, I'm with a bunch of my college buddies and we got playing murder mystery for the weekend or something. I don't know. Were you supposed to be nervous? Because high tide coming under the house, that makes me nervous. House on the left there. That's called the Abbey. I'm a little different, everybody's six, I say. That house is based on an aircraft carrier, got a captain's bridge and everything. What we gonna do is we play in our odds. Uh, plus, I'm gonna use my nose, because I'm trying to smell them, because the wind's coming out of the northwest right now. Can you smell that? Northwest is where the wind's coming out of. About four miles per hour, it feels like. Watch you look at those. How I sort of guessed that so easy is you can look at the grass on the dunes and you can tell where the wind's coming from. And plus, you can tell the way the birds are flying and how they're flying. Pay attention to the details, ooh, rah. That's how you're going to remember things for a long time. That's how the horses, you know, you'll see a horse do this. Can y'all look up front and watch what I'm doing? It looks like a yawn, but it's a fake yawn. They do that a lot. It's because they got a gland right here between their gums and their lips called the Fleming gland. And y'all, they're smelling the moment. They are. They are smelling and tasting the moment. When you see them doing that, they're either getting ready to fight or flirty flirty. They're getting ready to flirt or fight. It's about to be on like a chicken bone. I'm telling you. That they're, they're remembering the moment. Ah. Woo! This is fun. Can y'all do them sideways? It's by accident. <laughs> yeah. Sorta. Oops. Oh, I'm, I love what I do, y'all. Oh, I'm driven in a lot of sand, dude, bro. And remember, hey there, gentlemen. Good luck today. Always yield to fishermen. I always yield to fishermen. Y'all, look how smooth this is. This this right here ain't normal. Some human did something right here. There it is up there. I ain't never seen this in my life here. I ain't never seen them do this ever, ever, sort of, kind of, ever. That's going to be my post. I've never seen this. Well, look at here, y'all. Yeah. They are doing like, they're making this like smooth. I oh, like yeah. Okay, I'm not sure if I should do donuts or S's or what kind of crazy <laughs> I should do. Like, he treats this like an etching sketch. Yes. Whenever there's a, like a really 
really good storm, it makes this real smooth. God goes like, Ew. and it's smooth. It's really cool. I got some cool video. I make exaggeration, I know, but I'm making analogies to help you remember. But this flattens out like that, but usually it's when, when, when storms come in. Does that make sense? Yeah. That's pretty cool, I guess. I'm sort of in. I guess that's good for the tours. It's good for the people that rent houses up here. So I'm trying to find the positive in it. So I think that's cool. The loggerhead sea turtles are going to be a little different in there. But I think it's, I just, I sort of, that's cool, I think. Well, look at that. That's cool. I ain't never seen that. That's rock and roll cool. It ain't just because it's cool. 
que eu mais rindo, assim de seguir. <risos> I do really teach massage therapy. My wife and I are both licensed therapists to teach yoga and tai chi. She took my martial arts hand to hand and taught me how to go home. All right, so, not there. All right, so. We going hard left. We're letting our teammates create that. Oh, they're all creating that by themselves and they'll announce if they see something. There's one hair that way. But I'm going to let them find it. And I'll come back to it. Nothing more to fear. Fear. Nothing more Oh, my 
like a cartoon character. Y'all about to get ready with your speed. If he's gonna run, uh -huh. he's gonna be like, he just woke up from a nap and he's like, holy Toledo, where's mama? <laughs> Where is mama? Where is mama? Water is life. So it's all our 
around a full moon and the full moon was like two or three days ago, right? And it hadn't happened yet. Let's go see if it did happen. I don't think it has yet. Or maybe it did. Let's see if it has. Cause they, I would be able to see the tracks. Nope, not yet. Y'all, it's going to happen soon, come, soon, come. It's about to happen, new bro. Where I live, uh, uh, what the heck? <laughs> Did they do that on purpose? I think the sand's causing that. That's crazy, that hurt. That hurt my butt. <laughs> See, what happens is when it's going to happen that night, y'all, there's, it'll sink down right in the middle. It's going to sink five or six inches. It's going to sink down like a sinkhole because when the mama turtle, when she feels it, after she lays those 50, 60, 70, 80, sometimes 100 eggs, she covers it back up, but she don't cover it up and pack it down. She does it like a sift. She like throws it over, lets it rain, but she lets the sand rain on top of it, sort of. And that way, so when the babies are born, when the babies are born, they're able to have room for oxygen and the displacement of the sand because the sand falls down in between the cracks. It's a good picture if you get the picture of the turtle sign. Not everybody, not everybody knows it's turtles. It helps you out in your social media <laughs> post. It does. Yeah. I'm just helping you with your engagement on your social media post. Software companies, I do engagement department. We started a whole department at Red Hat called an engagement department. It's how you do it. You got to you got to encourage engagement, y'all. All right, y'all, left side. I'm going to get you get this sign, too. Then we gonna, I'm going to keep talking about them, but I'm going to go find more horses. But this sign right here is pretty cool because it lets people know what it is. And then, usually in my household on Christmas, it was my sister. Everybody wake up. We're the sister. Everybody, everybody wake up. And everybody wakes up. And everybody, you know, then we all get up. And y'all, the sand falls down in between those cracks and those openings. And the sand will drop down like a sinkhole, like five to eight inches. You'll see it collapse. It's happening that night. It's going to happen that night. That's what happened, so it ain't yet, I don't think, because I think it looks flat. Does that make sense? I hope I'm describing that big uh, verbally for you. This house on the left right here, we call that the Taylor Swift house because that's where she stays all the time. She don't own it. I looked it up, public record, she don't own it. She does stay there. I know that 100% sure. It's got 23 bedrooms, 27 baths. Remember, my wife and I are massage therapists, and we've been here for over 12, 13 years. Y'all, we train about every therapist up here, as we keep continuing it. That's one house. I've been to a lot of parties at that house. Woo! I've been invited to one. <laughs> You'd be surprised. Like, especially you with those blue eyes, dude. A smile, use your smile, smile with your eyes, dude. Smile and just look confident. Look like you own the place. That's what you do. That's what I do. I don't have blue eyes, but I got I got brown eyes. And then I usually put on some James Taylor. <laughs> you know who James Taylor is? That's the Carolina on my mind. That's the he, he went to UNC as well. I saw him play at the Dean though. You should consider going to Carolina. Now let me tell you, your freshman year, your mama's gonna want you to come home because she misses you. But your sophomore year, y'all come down here and work to be a guy. It's good money. You get tan. There's pretty girls. You, know, you get great tips. It's fun, dude. Girls and guys. If you guys start recruiting early, I know if you're going to be one of the student athletes, you might not have time to come down here for them. I wasn't joking earlier when I made the comment. Can y'all imagine the phone call? This is a true story. That's what makes it so funny. I've been, I, y'all, I'm a Marine through and through, 12 years. I hardcore, I was, well, 0326, that's a Raider. Y'all, I wasn't the average Marine. Uh, I called home, I was excited. Daddy, 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 I made the cheerleading team. Daddy? Daddy? Well, to a mountain boy farmer in the hills of North Carolina, he hadn't really ever considered his son to be a cheerleader. I hadn't considered it either. I never was a cheerleader. I just knew how to do flips because that's what me and my buddies did to show off to get a pretty girl to look at me. I was trying to get a pretty girl to look at me when I jumped out of windows or out of, out of off a swimming pool and stuff like that. Come to find out, that's what they want you to be as a cheerleader. And I was just trying to flirt with a pretty girl. 
I still remember all their names, but I know he's videoing, so I ain't gonna say their names. <laughs> oh, I can turn it off. But we won the national championship, we really did, not only in basketball, but NCAA cheerleading. When was that? 94. 93, 94. we won the basketball championship. 94, we won the NCAA cheerleading championship. That's good. Back then, everybody talked about Brandy. Everybody in the whole campus loved Brandy. We all wanted to marry Brandy. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're gonna go this way. Is that foul? Did any of you guys go to Carolina? I'm going to you. Where? ODU. Oh, yeah. You may have a better angle in about, I'm gonna get you a better angle in about 10 seconds. Ten, nine, eight. I think right here is gonna be your angle. Right here, get ready. Right there it is. Oh man, man, that's a good picture. See that cattle egret? Remember, that's the bird that hangs out with them. First time they ever made it to the U.S. First spotting, 1951. They think it was a stowaway. Beautiful, peaceful morning. One of my favorite times. 